It is very possible that Kamala Harris is going to lose all the blue wall states because of union leadership and blue collar workers. That is Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Let me tell you why, and we're gonna, in this video, describe political math. So Biden, funny enough, couldn't speak well, was very bad at any kind of cognitive function, gets replaced with Kamala Harris. But here's the key. Biden actually did very well among two key demographics in the Democratic Party, blue collar workers and black Americans. But Kamala Harris is shredding support for both of those. A recent poll shows that she had 70% support among black Americans, which is the lowest of any Democratic candidate. Obama had 93%, Biden had over 88%. 70% is incredibly low, which means they're not going to turn out for her. Second is they're running polls on Teamsters union workers who are all across the Midwest and specifically in those blue wall states. They're all ditching Kamala Harris for Trump. You can see in states like Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. So the key here to understand beyond these polls is this world of what I call political math. Political math is when you're building a political party, a political movement. You're trying to figure out what issues you're going to use to build your coalition. The hard part is, is coalitions and issues based around coalitions always are give and take. It is a zero sum game. For example, are you pro-life or are you pro-abortion? Obviously, that's going to gain you a certain subset of voters, but how pro-life are you? So for example, Donald Trump has walked back a lot of his pro-life statements saying he's not trying to do a national abortion ban. What is the political math on that situation? The political math is this. Donald Trump is assuming that most pro-life people are going to vote for him anyway, and the very marginal few voters that he's going to lose over going to be not as pro-life as he was in 2020 makes up for the amount of people that he's going to gain by being moderate. This works for someone like Kamala Harris as well. Now, we saw polling around Joe Biden saying that he was singing the polls, doing terrible among Trump in huge percentages. I don't know how true those were, but here's the key. The political math for replacing Biden with Kamala Harris was that even if they're going to lose some of these blue collar workers in these blue wall states, they're going to make up for it with the enthusiasm of the general population being brought together by Kamala Harris. I'm not saying that's true, but that was the political bet. Any time you are looking at somebody in their political position and you're thinking, well, why are they saying that? Why are they doing that? It's all about political math. For example, Kamala Harris saying that she owns a gun. She's now trying to look moderate on the gun issue. Donald Trump saying he's going to cap interest rates on credit cards. He's trying to not look like a big business Republican. The key is, are they going to be losing voters for those positions or just simply gaining them? For Kamala Harris, She's losing an entire Democratic coalition of blue collar workers and suppressing the vote for black Americans. Whereas Donald Trump seems to be making inroads on both while losing very little support among his core demographics.